it's that fit fun time again and some add-ons that i did not order stay tuned and find out what happened Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name is Mary. I hope y'all are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Well, today is Fab Fit Fun Day, summer 2021. And that is what we're looking at. And just an FYI, <laughs> we'll be talking about this little sticker here that ironically says your add-ons are inside. And the irony about that is that I did not place an order for add-ons but I received an email telling me that they had charged me for an add-on. So I'm not quite sure if it had something to do while I was scrolling. Maybe I added it to the cart, didn't pay attention, did not remove it. Uh, because from what I found out after that happened is if you have things in your cart with FabFitFun and the time for charging, because they do give you a date, uh, which I didn't pay attention to before, <laughs> And they automatically charge your account for anything that's in the cart. So from here on out, I am going to be super vigilant. Make sure I don't have anything in my cart, especially if I know I did not place the order for it. I'm not upset about what I, what did come in. That's why I didn't cancel it. Uh, and it was not a whole lot of money. But had it, there been several items in there, I'm, I probably would have notified them. But okay, enough of the rant with the add-on that was not added on so to speak but let's go ahead and get into the box and the box is $49.99 it is a quarterly subscription and it is lifestyle and beauty products and because I am an annual member for this I did get um, and I think this is the first month that they did that uh, I was able to select every single product in this box so everything that I received are things that I knew I was going to use or I have something in mind uh, as far as gifting, which there are two items in here that will be gifted. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and it does come with the magazine, and the magazine has the products that you could have received as well as the products that you received. So that's a plus there. It did not come with the prices, so I did get the prices before starting the filming so that I could give y'all prices on the products in here. But let's go ahead and get into the products that are not part of the box and that are just added in here. And this is a Liquid IV, and it's hydration made easy. So it looks like it's an additive for your water, maybe a flavoring for the water. Uh, it says lemon, lime, strawberry, and watermelon. So definitely going to try those out. Next in here we have a 14 meal, 14 free meal uh, card from HelloFresh. And I've never tried these. I've seen so many people use these. Uh, so don't be surprised if one of these months you're going to see me unbox one of those or prepare one of those for y'all. But let's go ahead and get into the rest of it. And... I'm going to go ahead and go in order of receiving it because it kind of makes a little bit more sense than me going through the magazine trying to find what is in here. And I'm going to go ahead and go into the first item that I selected and that was the wrap. And summer is here, bathing suits, things to that effect. That's what this is. It is a wrap that you can use multi-purpose or multi multiple ways of using it and I don't want to tear the packaging it's really cute and this is what we're looking at very beautiful colors and I'm not going to open it completely because it is really really long but this is what we're looking at there are leaves in here um, as you can see so there's going to be leaves and then that really pretty shade of peach that is gorgeous so multiple uses as well as multiple colors which means a variety of bathing suits can be used with it 
and that we're looking at Virginia Woolf multi wear wrap and that is sixty dollars so that sounds about right uh, for that type of product because the material is awesome it feels really really smooth and let's go ahead and go into the next item and the next item in here is um, the Ray Dunn by Magenta Guac Salsa Bowls so, and it's an artisan collection whoa by Magenta <laughs> almost knocked it off I know it is breakable so yeah <laughs> and this is actually uh, a gift that I have in mind with it uh, which is the reason that I chose it and it comes with cute little spoons which I thought was really cute and the box seems a little bigger than what I thought it was going to be so yeah so it's not surprising that these are bigger than what I thought they were I thought they were a little smaller and that's the one that says salsa on it and then we have the one that says guac if I can get it out of here and that is the guac and the salsa and I think they got it backwards for this family because we use a lot more guac little less salsa and the reason for that is that the salsa is usually pretty spicy so we need a little less salsa in our food so a little goes a long way <laughs> especially in this family but definitely something I hope the person I'm gifting it to is going to love and I yeah I should have kept it for myself but no it's gifting it's going to be gifted and that is $40 for the set so definitely a cute item to gift and the next product in here and now that I'm thinking about it I don't know why I chose them probably because in that selection there was not a whole lot that I would have wanted in here uh, most of it was skincare things that I already own and which is that selection there and I have that I pretty much have everything in there so I this was the only thing I did not have so I chose it so I'm hoping it functions the way I intend it to and it does turn my light white because my I mean blue. <laughs> my apologies my light turns blue on the reflection which is a blue light uh, set of glasses so definitely it fits pretty pretty nice um, it's a little hard to open and close so I'm hoping that loosens up a little with more use the only thing that I'm not and that's probably why I'm thinking about it because I do wear reading glasses and that is not something that I can use for reading so I'm not sure how that's gonna work for me it may end up in a giveaway I'm not sure I'll figure that out as I go and for that we're looking at $45 and it is the nectar blue light blue light blocking glasses uh, in round eye brown tor tortoise so there's that and then let's go ahead and move on to the next product and for the next one we're looking at the cutting boards and these I had seen before so for some people they may be a duplicate item or a repeat item for me it's a new item I don't have these each one of them the plastic seems a lot more sturdy than the ones I have seen like at Walmart and stuff and stores to that effect and these actually seem a little thicker and they do have that grip on the back I'm hoping it keeps it from sliding on the counter but it is a set of four and what I liked about it is that it has little uh, reminders of what they may be used for not that I follow directions very well but there's like a shrimp there uh, some vegetables in here so just letting you know that you can individualize your cutting needs without cross-contaminating while you're preparing meals 
So definitely something I will get a lot of use on, uh, especially since now we're getting uh, together a lot more and things are opening up. So definitely having more people over for dinner. And the next item in here is Skin & Co. and Erno Laszlo. And that was a set of two items. It was one choice, two items. And this is what we're looking at. And for the Ernest Laszlo, it is the Exfoliant, Exfoliate and Detox Pore Cleansing Clay Mask. And I love masks in general. Um, my struggles are still with the face masks, the sheet masks. Uh, my struggles are still there. I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with them and I'm getting to like them a little more. However, my favorite are still going to be coming in a tube or an actual jar. So that's my favorite type of mask. Uh, this one, it is a clay mask and because of my dry skin, I do have to be careful when I use clay masks. However, the last two clay masks that I have used um, have not over uh, dried my skin. So they have felt really, really soft and nice afterwards. So I will be giving it a try. Hopefully it performs the same as the other clay masks that I have tried. And for this one, we're looking at Skin & Co now. And Skin & Co is one of my favorite products. There's only one other brand that supersedes this, but definitely Skin & Co comes number two, hands down. I do have a... Um, a little mini set of different types which was the toner the cleanser everything skin and co so look out for that video coming up because I will be reviewing each one of the items in there I believe there were five of uh, five items in that little mini set it did take me almost three weeks to finish most of them some of them I'm still not finished but I'm still gonna do the filming for that but enough of that video let's get back to this one um, and this one is the Whipped Cleansing Cream, uh, Whipped Polishing Cleansing Cream with Truffle Extract. The Truffle series is actually my favorite, so, and that's what I will be reviewing, the Truffle series. So definitely a plus with the Skin & Co. Ernest Laszlo I have never tried, so it'll be a first for me. And for the two of those products, it is, um, and I'm not sure if it was $76 for both it might be so $76 for the both items then we go into <laughs> the watermelon burst setting spray and for this we are looking at and I think I jumped it because I, didn't, I may have missed it I did so I'm still having to go back <laughs> into the magazine uh, and that is the Ciate London watermelon burst setting spray that is what this looks like. And I love CFT London as well. It's one of my good, it's a, it's a good product or a good brand. This is what we're looking at. It is a setting spray. It doesn't look like it's um, shimmer and glimmer type of spray. So that's a plus for me. Definitely going to be trying this. It doesn't smell, but I will be using it, so I'm going to go ahead and spray it on myself. And it does come out pretty strong, so it's not a fine mist, so <laughs> definitely be careful. And that's what I thought it was. It was going to be a small, uh, fine mist, but it's not. Still feels super refreshing, and now my face is wet but it smells amazing definitely a plus selection for me watermelon has always always been my favorite scent watermelon um what were those candies oh my god and i i just bought some the other day and now it's going to drive me crazy because i need to find out which candy it is um oh my gosh i cannot i will be right back because i have to I'll go get the candies. I will be right back. Okay, and I am back. And no, I 
think I may have taken those candies out at work, but it is the Jolly Ranchers, and I cannot believe I could not remember Jolly Ranchers. Uh, Jolly Ranchers, uh, watermelon and apple, green apple, have always been my favorite. They still are, and watermelon scent, anything watermelon <laughs> for me. So, Seattle London watermelon uh, setting spray. So, that's it. Now we're going to go ahead and go into the add-on that mysteriously got charged to my card. <laughs> and this is a Murad Rapid Collagen Infusion um, Resurgence. So I don't know how that may have happened. I know I was looking at the add-ons. I was scrolling and I don't know if I may have clicked it. It added it to the cart. I did not pay attention. Uh, what I did read up on that is that if you have anything in your cart by the given date that they have, because uh, they do have a date where they will charge your card for anything that's in your cart, um, that happened to be in my cart. It got charged. So from here on out, lesson learned, I will be paying attention to the cart, definitely, and making sure that I do not have anything in there that I do not want. This time it was only $10 that was charged to my card. Who knows what the next time might have been. But this is what we're looking at. So enough of the add-on rent. And it is a little pump. And I will be getting some use out of it. I'm not going to try it just yet. I need to read up on it. Uh, and I don't want to start the, the clock in case I have something that is similar to this that I need to finish first. So definitely... A plus for me it is a product that normally would run you $78 like I said I was only charged $10 for it so to me that's a major win that is just how I'm looking at it $49.99 for the box um, we have several products that are over $49 uh, we have $78 for that Murad uh, but then that adds to the box. So that would be $59.99. Uh, then we have uh, the Ciate London was $22. Uh, the Blue Light Glass is $45. The Salsa Guac, $40. Would I have paid the amounts of money that I'm mentioning now for these products? Probably not. But paying $50 and getting all of these various products that otherwise I would not have purchased, absolutely loving it. I absolutely am having fun with this box. So I'm, I still have two more boxes to go. Um, so that's a plus. And then I'll figure out if I am going to renew for an additional year or if it's going to just remain at the four boxes and then that's it. But definitely... If you're interested in in receiving this type of box, link down below uh, for Fat Fit Fun. Well, that is pretty much it for the box. Thank you all for joining me. And if you do like the content of the video, thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do so at this time by clicking the subscribe button down below. Also on the, not the notification bell, Click and select the option for all. That will let you know that I've uploaded new content. And just a heads up, there are collabs coming up. The first one is early as mid-June. It is a multi-channel collab with multi multiple chances of winning because each of the channels may have a giveaway. So that is pretty much it for now. I will see y'all in the next video. Until then, y'all stay safe, stay blessed, smile always. Bye.